I've roughed it out, filed it, and you can basically you can see where the repair is. 100% penetration on the silver. Possibly, whenever somebody else strips this engine one on, well, yeah, they'll think, look, the clumsy bastard must have cut that too short and had to shoulder a bit in. But at least we didn't waste the piece of brass, that's the main thing. It was all salvageable. Just want this knocking down to the correct height now. I've got a fine line on there, on the other side. Well, it's not something I can see it. Right, one salvage part. Once it's filed up, you'll never know. Well, whoever <laughs> watches the video will know. I'm going to pick these four mounting points up before I drill the holes for the mounting plate that I wouldn't interfere with these. A little three mil transfer punch here. This is really too small for me, I don't like going much below six mil, but never mind. My friend Bob would love this job. You would absolutely love it, you would. And what we'll do, we'll drill two. We'll drill and tap two. And then we can mark the other two once we get this fastened into place. The little screws I've got at M3. This is a 2.5mm drill. And I'm right out of my comfort zone here. I like half inch Whitworth. Nice and gently. I don't think I'm going to power top M3 at all. I think we all done, done by hand, by feel. Just use this to make sure it goes in straight, give it the, the best chance possible. I think I'll probably put a little bit of moss and snot on there just to help it. Miserable little thing it is. I don't like miserable little threads. Where's my snot? There it is. I did some stainless the other day, put some present some stainless in that tamp and compound, really saved the day. Right, it certainly started. I think discretion will be the better part of valour here. I'm sure I've got a little tap wrench that'll fit that. I've got nothing at all that small. Which is Model engineers, oh dear me, John, that's tight in there, that. Oh, no chance. I think I'm going to go up on the air. Uh, I'll trip my drill, drill, drill chart again. That's going to snap that bastard. M3, 2.65, I told 2.65. A 2.6 drill here. I just don't want to snap the top, I've only got one top. Redo the finer chuck for here as well. I 
seem to be cutting a lot better. I think it was just the, the top and drill was a little bit. That feels alright. It's having a little bit squeak, but at least it is. It is wanting, wanting to play. Right, so that's one done. Three to go. Right. Nice little screw over here. This is one of the, the set that Bob got for us. Trying to coax us into the into his world of small stuff and M3 is big for what he does. He puts threads on on pins. Some of the watches and the DTIs he plays along with. That's pretty successful, lad. I like it. Certainly a good start anyway. And I think I might pick that hole up. No, I can't really. Yep, I like it. Right, so that's that's quite a reasonable start. I like it, I like it a lot. Be able to pick up from here some sort of contraption to work that little handle. I'm going to use a transfer punch just to mark the other three holes I got that punch um, and some stuff I bought from a car boot sale. It, it's an old Eclipse one. It has a lot of use. It really is in nice centre pop. It just works. I can't really see the marks. It hasn't. Those two have gone quite well. Ah, oh, there's one there. There's one there, you can feel them with it. I'll be able to see if I bring the camera a little bit closer. Right, so you can see them, there's one there, you can feel the, you can start to feel the punched up into the hole. You can see what I mean about that punch, it's been well used. It is a really nice one. Right, so we've got three nice pop marks to drill and tap three mil. You wouldn't be tempted to use your fingers, it'll end up in tears. Fast that thing. Maybe so gently blame the soap. Now we do one axis at a time. That's pretty good there, it's good at the centre pop more, it's not moving.
start it by hand. I think it's going through quite nicely. Dare I do a little bit of a, a power feed on it? We're bring it around, John. Splendid. Right, I'll do you that too and then we'll we'll come back. I'll show you how I'm gonna mount it and do that too. Okay, so we can pick these two roads up again using the wiggler and drill and top them. Okay, so now I can pick the coordinates up of the first wheel. Should be there. Right, so that goes on there like that. And probably two bolts, one there and one there. I've got some M4s, I've got to counter sink them in. We're going to mark the position on the, the brass where we want the two holes. You can see why I put those ones in so I don't need to feel them. But we'll have one there. One there. I'll drill those, don't I sink them, and I can mark on there. I've got enough tolerance to sort of wiggle it around to get it square. So we'll go straight in with a 4mm drill through there, then count I sink them for the heads to go down. We may need to machine a little bit off the heads. Probably edit that bit out, I would think. Well, I've found some little countersunk screws, look, you better again. So I can put a deep countersink in there. I have got this right around, yep, I have. This is the top. I'll put a nice deep countersink in there to sink that head in. A little bit deeper because I want plenty of thread into the aluminium base casting. That looks better. Look at their cheap and cherry bangles, counter sinks have been really good. Right, so that goes on there. That hole is hidden, that one's not, and that looks horrible. Um, it should have a hex headed bolt on there, I didn't, you know, I'm not happy with it, so what I think I'll do is I'll go and fill the hole in with a magical silver solder and remachine it and just put a hex bolt on top. It's, it's nothing, it's nothing, it's just, I just do it like it, it's not right. I'm going to pick the two holes up, I might put another one in there, but two will probably be quite sufficient for it. Annoying. Right, so we've 
we've made the hole go away, you can see it's shadow there, silver solder. Pick the hole up on the back and then I'll put a hex head bolt in there and it'll look 100% better than it, the way it was. I don't like things like that, they're sort of all pleasing to the eye for the sake of a, a few minutes to repair the damage we've done. That's pretty good. Silver solar is really expensive, but I did a lot on that was nasty. I did a lot on various repairs that I do. I need to get some drills and knock the edges off them so they drill brass better. So uh, in the middle, happy now, much happier. Once again, it's your time to see you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do, because I'm now getting perilously near to 100,000 views. And one of the strange things is, my wife hasn't subscribed. And she says, I'm going to wait till you get 999, and I'm going to try and be the thousand subscriber. Well, you never know. Well, let's have to wait and see what happens. Anyway, thanks for watching.